Shalom family, my name is Austin and you're watching Bible Pathway Avengers. Welcome back. Today we're talking about the story of Solomon, the wisest king that ever lived Israel. Now who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I am, I'm not really anybody, but I am a part of a really, really cool ministry called the Kids Action Bible Show, where we're teaching the biblical faith. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And if you want to be on the show, reach out to us. Come laugh, come hang out. It's a good time for the whole family. But today, right now, we're getting into Solomon. And what you're going to need is one of these. Yes, we're going to be using the Bible Pathway Adventures Story of Solomon Beginner's Book. All right, so before we get into the video, I want to tell you a quick story. So it's about the time where I wrestled an alligator. I know, I know. I Come on, like, let me tell you a story. So what happened was the alligator, whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Oh, snaps. It's time for the question of the day. Jojo, what you got for us, my man? Solomon become king. Well done. Sir. All right, so those are the two questions we have to answer today. Do not leave because I need to see if you have an answer to these questions. So remember what Joe just said. The two questions were, who wanted to be king of the Israelites? Did you catch that? Joe, give it to me again. Who wanted to be king of Israel? Who wanted to be king of the Israelites? The second question is, how did Solomon become king of the Israelites? We're going to go through it right now. It's time to grab your Bible. All right, so anybody, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sword. I think I got mine right here. Let's do it. So it says, King David was king of the Israelites for many years. When he was old, he decided to make his son Solomon the next king. But his other son, another son, Adonijah, wanted to be king. He made plans to rule over the kingdom. So David's wife heard about Adonijah's plans. She went to see the king. The king was not happy at all. And he said to his servants, Take Solomon and anoint him and make him king. Take Solomon to Gihon Spring and make him the next king. He took a where? Gihon Spring. Springs. Not those kind of springs. Spring. Like spring water. Kind sir, when you're talking about springs, are you talking about me? Yes. You. How could you have gotten... Why? Why are you at Home Depot? Can I continue? He told him to take him to Gihon Springs and make him the next king. So the servants put Solomon on a donkey and took him to Gihon Springs. What? A donkey. Donkey? A donkey. Donkey! Yes, the animal. What is happening right now? What is wrong with this generation? TikTok and Instagram to ruin these kids. When they got there, the priest poured oil over Daniel's head to anoint him as the next king of Israel. Ow? No, oil. You're talking about this stuff, right? Oh my gosh. Oil. I'm worried about the next generation. Yeah, so oil was used to anoint people in the Tanakh, all throughout scripture, actually. So sometimes it was olive oil because it's an olive tree. And here, I, I, I'll show you an example. I actually went to an olive oil store and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the Temecula Olive Oil Company. And they make, you guessed it, nothing but olive oil in all kinds. Check this thing out. This is an olive oil press. How cool is that? They have a ton of variety of different olive oils, and this just gives you an example of what they potentially used to anoint King Solomon. How cool is that, right? Isn't that cool? Yeah, they would use oil to, so that's what they use, something similar to that, to anoint Solomon to be the next king of Israel. There, the people blew their shofars and played their instruments and had a great celebration because Solomon was anointed king. You don't know what the shofar is? All right, guys, I'm going to show you my show far. I just got it in. Check this out. Look at that. Look at that. I know it's a little one. Don't come for me.
Works pretty good. Yay! Good job, mama. But this is a horn trumpet made from ram's horn. So let's go back to the question of the day. Can you answer the question of the day? Who really, really, really wanted to be king of the Israelites? Can you tell me his name? <laughs> That's right, Adonijah. And then how did Solomon become king of the Israelites? Take Solomon and anoint him and make him king. That's right. King David told his servants to take Solomon, put him on a donkey, and take him all the way down to Gihon Springs and anoint his head with oil. And that's how he became king of Israel. We have a complete story on the channel. So go ahead and check it out. And we also have some fun quizzes going on about the story of Solomon. And if you want to see those and you think it'd be a lot of fun, head over to the other channel, Kids Action Bible Show, and check it out there. Peace be with you. Shalom. Until next time. Hallelujah. Who wanted to be king of the Israelites? But you got to look up and say it. Saul. No, no, you got to look up and say that question. Who wanted to be king of the Israelites? Who wanted to be king of Israel? What? Look, I got to understand you, man, when you say it. Who wanted to be king of Israel? Why are you saying it like that?